Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup, I am Penj and welcome back to Civilization 6. Now we haven't seen Civ 6 on the channel for a little while and I'm very glad it's back, but it's going to be back albeit quite fleetingly because today we're just dipping back into Civ 6 to take a look at the new Battle Royale mode they've added, which is very dramatically called Red Death. So yeah, they've added a Battle Royale mode to Civ and I'm intrigued to see how this works because to me, Civ is not the kind of game that in my mind would suit a battle royale game mode so battle royale is all to me in my mind anyway about running around and being kind of always on the move you're always sort of trying to keep ahead of the game you've got to maximize where you are and you're always sort of running about and trying to keep ahead of the environment and all that kind of stuff whereas civilization is all about a more settled approach you know you found cities you connect the cities up with roads there are farms and the farms are always in the same place and then there's diplomacy and science and all that kind of stuff it doesn't really kind of suit a battle royale mode so we're going to go and have a look at what this is all about now some of you might not know what a battle royale mode is at all so in essence it's kind of a last person last team standing kind of thing where the area of combat uh, gets smaller so time passes and the area of combat gets a little bit smaller so you're forced into a sort of a smaller and smaller area so at the start everyone is spread out so imagine a map everyone is spread out over this map and people are quite happy to just you know do whatever it is they're doing but after a certain amount of time an area around the edge of the map will enclose the map and force people closer together and then after another bit of time the map will shrink again and the map will shrink again and also the people that are still left alive are being forced closer and closer together until the inevitable happens and there will be some conflict and there will be hopefully a last person standing and that's kind of how it works but yeah in Civ I'm not entirely sure so let's just uh, let's dive in and have a go at Red Death. Okay, the game is loading. So here we go. Let's just have a look at what the story is. So the world has fallen apart. Our only hope lies in a single colony ship waiting in orbit for the last survivors of the world. We can remotely pilot the lander. The other factions are jamming the signal. The only way we can survive is to eliminate the other factions. So we've got to kill all the other people on the map and these are all human players so this is entirely online all these people are human players playing the game and as you can see it's not a normal game of Civilization 6. Everything has gone a little bit wrong. So the story is the world is destroyed and we want to get off it. And the Red Death is kind of an encroaching sort of wave of radiation that is uh, slowly closing in on us all. So what we need to do is we need to go to cities. Now we're quite fortunate because we've got some quite good positions just here. This is very good. So we need to go to cities and gather resources. So normally we'll get ourselves units. And the idea is we want to keep these people alive. We've got some civilians. If we run out of civilians, we lose and we are out. So let's just have a little look around. So we've got ourselves these civilians, got ourselves a machine gun unit, and we've got some infantry. So let's try and move down here. Oh my goodness me, we're near all sorts of exciting things. Right, and we will link you two together, because that makes sense, and you can come down here and have a look at what's going on. So yeah, we want to go into these, and normally when you go into here, you're going to get yourself a unit unit of either some sort of military power or possibly another civilian unit and really we want to get at least one more civilian unit because at the moment we're very vulnerable if this civilian unit is taken out by whatever you know something might come in and destroy us people might come in with helicopters or whatever then that's it we're gone if we have two units of civilians then we can afford to lose one because we have another backup one okay right let's bring you guys to here and just have a look at what's going on and then bring you guys to just here. So a machine gunner has joined your faction. So that is how this works. There's no cities that we found. We just have to sort of drive around the place and keep moving, gathering units, gathering resources and stuff as we go. So uh, yeah, there is a timer as well to obviously stop people dithering around like I was just there. There's so many cities around us. Oh my goodness. Well, let's head over this way then actually. Let's go over here, look. Head over to that city and pick up whatever might be in there and bring these this way. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got a city down here, a city up there. Oh my goodness, and a city up there as well. Oh my word. Oh right, okay, there's a lot around us. Now the map isn't very big. I don't believe the maps are very big. I think they're either small or tiny maps. Um, and up here you can see um, the safe zone is where we are now. 
and in eight turns, the safe zone will shrink. Anything outside of the safe zone, so anything in the Red Death, will take 10 damage every turn. So you can stay in, you can leave the safe zone and go into the Red Death if you like, but your unit's going to take damage, and that's obviously very silly because you want them to be all good so you can fight the opposition. So let's move up here. Let's pick up a few things over this side. I think we'll go there first. So bring you this way. Now, I can't help but noticing just here, this is just how bleak the game is. Check that out. It's the Statue of Liberty. It's the Statue of Liberty sticking out of the ground. It's all gone a bit Planet of the Apes. So, um, yeah, the world really has gone to pieces, hasn't it? The world has fallen apart and we want to escape this place. And do you know what? I can understand why. Although it does look great. It looks very, very good. I like all the sort of the washed out colour palette and the seas all green and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right, okay, let's see what these guys have got over here. An anti-tank unit. Absolutely brilliant. I will take that. If we come across uh, any uh, tanks, we can certainly have a go with that. Bring the machine guns in. Um, the AT crew can head up that way, possibly. Yeah, let's send some people up there. I'm tempted to send those cultists, uh, those cultists, we are the cultists, those machine gunners down here. Now, we're playing as cultists, so you can pick different factions of who you're playing as. We're playing as the cultists, and they get plus three sight, which I think is quite useful. All the other people have got their own sort of thing, so they're the mad scientists. They heal two times faster. Um, these wanderers here can move faster through hills and woods and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the doomsday preppers, the units get 100% experience bonus. I like these guys for their plus three sight. It means we can find where these cities and things are a little bit earlier. So we can you know, get a good picture of the map and what's going on. Um, let's take those up there. Let's bring you down this way. Right, and can you move over there? No, okay, fine. So yeah, we'll head those up to there. Those guys down to here. And then we'll try and meet up in the middle maybe and head that way. I think that's what we might do. That can be my current plan. So yeah, now sometimes you will get a bit like this where you have to wait for somebody else to have their go. And that's absolutely fine because so far, everybody's been waiting for me. Ah, now, this is an issue. So who are you? You are cultists. Oh, you're other cultists as well. You are BFG9K. So you're that person just there. You are another player and you're very close to my people. Right, how about we run away... We hopefully get something really good from this city here. An infantry unit. Okay, I will absolutely take an infantry unit. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about these guys, but another city has appeared up there. Maybe we could head up that way. That would seem the obvious choice. Right, can we, can we run away, guys? I really want to run away now. No, we can't do any running away. Um, move up that way, maybe. And you can head out that way. And they can head just there. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, we've so we've met another faction, and they might be trying to come and kill us. Because if we lose those those uh, civilians, it's all over for us. There's their civilians. Do you know what? Right now, I don't think it's worth going into a bit of a fight. I don't think it's worth it. We've not got enough resources to go in. We've got two infantry, uh, one anti-tank crew, and two machine guns. I think we might need just a little bit more to be combat ready. So let's stand on a hill. Let's have a look at what's going on up here. There's a couple of cities up there that it would be really good if we could get up that way. Right, now you guys, can you cross over here? Oh, you have to cross a river, it slowed you down. So our, um, our civilians are at the back. Not entirely happy with our civilians being at the back there, but never mind. Okay, right, let's try and move up to this city and then that city as well. Because we've got some good chances to get some nice resources from those cities. So I, I kind of want to either get... You want to get helicopters or tanks. They sound like the most useful of the things. Right, let's put you there. Let's move you guys there. And that means you guys can move up here. So you're not quite so isolated, which is marvellous. Um, oh, somebody's disconnected from the game. Okay, right, well, cheerio. I don't know who that was. Um, oh! It was, it was you. Oh, it was this person. Oh, so they're now going to become a computer-controlled team. Uh, now, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. That might end up being a bad thing. Right, what's in this city? Some more infantry. Marvellous. We'll try and plod toward that city as well. Next turn, we will see where the safe zone is. So we'll see where the safe zone is. Now, at the minute, I think the whole map is a safe zone. So, yeah, we'll see exactly what's going on. But we want to make sure that we're not too... We don't really want to be right in the middle. 
but we don't want to be right on the edge either. We kind of want to be a respectable distance into the safe zone. So let's have a look what's going on on the map. Then. So the safe zone will shrink momentarily. Okay, we are not in the safe zone. So the safe zone is here in this blue area. We're just outside the safe zone. So now we are going to have to flee into this area. And that's not so bad because there is something just here that we could go and grab. But the only thing is up here... This unit might get possibly a bit stuck. Uh, however, right, let's try and move our um, let's move our survivor guys down here. Right, bring you down, bring you down. So let's try and move into the safe zone as best we can. So you guys come this way. Do we do we sacrifice you guys? You know what? Yeah, why not? Let's try and get whatever's in there. Um, also, there are airdrops as well. So a couple of airdrops have happened. One is there, and one is there so they're no real use to us we can't do much with that information really they're too far away they're absolutely distant and i think we just saw that is the red death creeping in so what did we get from here the unit earned experience that is not what we wanted to see because that unit might well be dead very soon <laughs> so we need to run into here so let's move this way move this way come on everybody sort of head down into the safe zone we don't want to get clobbered just yet um, yeah, a unit can be promoted. Hopefully they will survive. How quickly does this move? I do not know. Does it move one square or two squares? I don't know. It might just move one square, in which case we might just be ahead of it. Now, of course, if you go into it, you don't instantly die. You take 10 damage. Oh, oh, that's that's quick. That's moving very fast indeed. Okay, <laughs> right. Uh, we've got a scout unit. It's a ranger thing just there. We can probably take care of that. That'll be absolutely fine. We can take care of that with some troops. Uh, right, move you guys to here. Bring you guys through to here. Yeah, this isn't helping. This is all very hilly. This is all very, very hilly. Who's that? Oh, that's somebody else. That is another person. That is an AT crew from Wanderers. So that is uh, one of you guys. Is it them? Ah, okay, right. Everyone is just sort of fleeing for this. And this is a relatively small bit of land just here as well. This could be an issue. Do you know what? I suspect we might need to fight you. We might need to have a little go at you and try and kill you in the face. Because you're going to try and attack us and take our civilians away. Right, everyone move in. I, I fear, I fear for our infantry up here. Those guys are going to be in trouble. Um, okay, right. We can't do much else. The only thing is, if his AT crew is wandering around here, where are the rest of his people? Where are all his people? That does make me a little bit nervous. Is he just going to wander up from down here or something and go, hey, surprise, here's a load of people? Because, yeah, I... I well, do you know what? We've got an okay force of people to try and take him on. That is okay. Um, I mean, early on, are we doing all right? See, I don't really know. I don't really know if this is good or bad. And one thing I do know is that there are nukes in this game. Uh, there are nuclear bombs. You can get them from uh, taking out, like, raider sort of silos and things. Right, let's attack him then. Right, okay, we've taken out one of his units. And losing a unit in this game is pretty bad. Because, as you can see, you can't make them. You earn them. So once that unit is gone, it's gone forever. So yeah, he has just lost one of his units. We will get into the safe zone for you. <laughs> right, okay. Our civilians are safe, which is marvellous. No one else is safe, however. So, okay, right. Next turn. I want to take these raiders uh, out the way. Um, we don't need to bother, I don't think. However, our infantry there is is going to struggle. Our infantry are going to get stuck in the Red Death. Which is not ideal. Okay, fine. They'll just have to put up with that. We'll have to heal them up a bit later. Um, game is waiting on me. Yes, all right. I know I'm on it. It's fine. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, right. Everybody's moved. We need to head down to here. Let's head down to this. Now, the only problem we're going to have, if this is a spit of land which just ends, we are in dire trouble indeed. Oh, is that going to carry on to something else? I really hope so. We'll take those guys out. That gives us some experience, which is lovely. Right, okay. And our our guys here are in the Red Death. Right, run out of it so you don't take so much damage. Uh, also, you can go into the water, but the water is, is bad. The water is poisonous and it hurts your units, I believe. So we could go here. What worries me is that this is going to end. And if that ends, then, yeah, we're in all sorts of trouble. So does it end? No. Okay, right. There's another city there. This is marvellous. Okay, right. So we'll head over that way. 
You can head there. You can come down. You guys are stuck. Oh, you're going to take some damage next time. You're going to take a little bit of damage. I think you're going to get stuck because this is all hills and stuff. Oh, dear. Um, okay, let's promote you. Um, combat strength. Combat strength when defending or move quicker. Let's have a little bit of combat strength. Why not? Let's have that. Right, okay. We want to get into this city. And hopefully we can get to that city as well. Oh, our unit. Yep, yeah, it's going to take damage. Our cultist unit over there, our infantry, sorry, are going to take some damage. Right, move you into here. An infantry unit has joined. Hurrah, they can run that way. I'm really hoping... that looks like there's a bit of coast there. Yeah, there's coast. We're on a very thin bit of land, which makes me nervous. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Right, okay, everyone try and move out. Um, I can't help but noticing that there's some helicopters coming our way. That can't be helpful. Um, okay, two units of helicopters. Have we got anything that can fight helicopters? Anything that's specifically anti-air? I don't think there is. We've got anti-tanks, but no anti-air. Oh, dearie me. Okay, well, there we go. We'll have to see what we can do with them if they come toward us, which I guess they are. I guess they're going to have to, unless they could go around this way, I suppose. But okay, right. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, so our unit did take some damage. So let's try and move them through. The um, the helicopters there are ignoring us largely, which is lovely. Okay, infantry, head on this way. Yep, it looks like there is still some more land that way, which is marvellous. Okay, right. Everybody just run through this tiny bit of land. Everybody just sprint through. It's very important. Oh, and we've had someone else disconnect from the game. I don't know who that was. Possibly them. Maybe the Doomsday Prepper. Uh, the person who's playing as the Doomsday Preppers has disconnected. Uh, okay, fine. So, yeah, the human players are dropping out. But never mind. I think they do get taken over, as we can see, by the uh, by the AI. Okay, so a person just dropped out. So one of our players has dropped out of the game. And the safe zone has shrunk again. So the safe zone is now down here. So our poor unit at the back there is having an awful time. They're just sort of getting near to, <laughs> near to safety. And then the safety just moves away again. So let's try and run everybody back into the safe zone. So, yeah, this, this is getting quite... This is getting quite tricky now. Uh, it's on account of all the hills and things. It's, a, it's very hilly. It's a very hilly, thin spit of land. Right, let's try and move you that way. Um, right, you guys can... Can you move? No. Okay, they can move. So we'll push them forward. Um, and then these guys can move as well. Okay, I think that's all we can do for now. So yeah, we need to get these into the safe zone. The Red Death is advancing. Oh, no! No! Oh no, I think we're on a... Yeah, I think that is the end of the land. I think we have walked into a terrible position. Um, okay, we need... Right, have we got another military unit? Right, okay. What we need to do is we need a slightly stronger infantry approach here. Because our infantry... We've got, what, three or four units of infantry now? I think we could combine them together. I think we could combine them together... To make a slightly stronger unit. I'm a bit worried that we can't we can't get out of here. I'm a little bit concerned. Right, okay. Skip your turn. Skip your turn. And you skip yours. And then you move into here. Okay, so we've only got two units that are no longer safe. Uh, but that, I mean, that's still two more units than I would like. Um, so we're going to need to go into the sea at some point. These guys are going to try and come and kill us. A major defeat. That's probably quite bad. Let's swap that round for our infantry, like so. You, can you fire? Oh, it can't fire over the city. Yeah, this is a, this is a terrible position for us to be in. And there's not enough room in the safe zone. <laughs> there's not enough room. So what we could do is, we could promote you guys, a bit of strength, move you guys in like that, um, and we'll just end our go. Absolutely. We'll just end our turn. It's fine. Oh, yes, all right. Skip turns. Yep, yeah, skip. Come on. Everybody skip their turn for now. It's all fine. So everyone skip their turn. We end our go. The Red Death is still moving in. Right, these guys. Can we attack you? A minor defeat. 70 versus 73. Why is that? We're in a fortified... Oh, they fortified. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah, we're, we're sort of trapped. Now, what we could do is we could... Combine these guys together. I'd rather bring those guys in. Right, hang on. Move. Can we move you? Can we swap you round? No. 
Okay, we need to stop. We need to move some people around. I want to get you to there, bring you guys into there like that, and then you can form a core with them, which makes them a bit stronger, which is marvellous. Right, you guys skip turn. You guys skip turn. In fact, you can heal. You can, you get yeah, that probably will heal up. Um, okay, I think that's all we can do. So, okay, next turn, where are these guys going to go? Are they going to come into the city? Yes. Okay, now that might mean we can fire on them. So the machine gunners can machine gun them. Yay, nice. Um, they are going to get mullered if they go in. But we have a major victory. So we can kill them. And then we can send them in to hopefully take them out. Right, okay. Oh, that was complicated. <laughs> that was a lot more complicated than I was hoping. Okay, right, you guys run up this way. And now we need to start moving. So next turn... We need to move away from that because it's all going to go horribly wrong. We're going to get people stuck in the Red Death and it's just going to weaken our people. So the problem we've got now is that our way is blocked once again by another enemy unit. So we're going to have to try and kill them, but they're in the way. So people are just bunching up now. So yeah, this is becoming a bit of an issue. Right, okay. You get through here. Right. Everybody's in the safe zone. Just... Look at that. Oh, so those cultists have been defeated. So the ones who were around here have been defeated. They are gone. Only five remain. Okay, right. Everyone can skip their turns. It's all fine. So everyone just have a little rest. Everyone have a sit down. So uh, yeah, we need all these people to skip. We need to get rid of that ranger unit just there because we can't move. We can't do anything else. Oh, and you guys might as well get promoted. We will have Battle Cry. Okay, right. Let's see if we can deal with these just here. So that Ranger... Ah, right. The Ranger has ran away, which is good news. That means we can run in just here. That means... Are they boats that we can use? No, they're just destroyed boats. Okay, right. We need to... Oh, no. We can't get everybody in. Um, You guys are just going to have to come into here. You're going to have to move into here. I'd rather have the the other infantry coming through as well. And everyone else, just wait a little bit, please. Just wait. There's some very complicated logistics going on around here now. Oh, we'll promote you. Um, combat strength versus tanks and helicopters. That sounds like it might be advantageous later on. Right now, not so much. Later on, could be very handy. Okay, the safe zone has shrunk once again. <laughs> this isn't going well, is it? This is going all sorts of bad. We're right on the edge of the safe zone. Okay, those units, this these guys took an absolute clobbering. They would get a major victory. Um, can we move them in? No. Oh, we're going to get stuck. We're going to get stuck in the Red Death. We're, it's all going horribly wrong. This little bit of land has not helped us at all. If we go into here, what's that? Uh, a major victory. So can we go into there and take them out? We might just have to go and do that. We've got a functional helicopter. Oh, happy days. Right, okay, use the helicopter immediately to attack them. Okay, that is wonderful. Um, everybody else is just going to have to skip their turns. We're just going to have to skip the turns because uh, we can't move. We're currently still a bit stuck. Apologies about the impending radiation that's going to come and bosh you in the face. Right, okay. Can we move along here? Yeah, it is a dead end. It's a dead end, plus cliffs. So we need to get to here, and then we need to just <laughs> we just need to go into the sea at some point. But can we get everybody over here pretty sharpish? Right, helicopter. Take them down. Marvellous. Helicopter could do with healing up a little bit. Right, bring you in. Right, move everybody. Everybody start moving in. So you guys come this way. Let's see if we can get everyone in the safe zone on the end of this little bit of land. And then we're going to have to take to the seas and, and find another bit of land to go to. Because this, this is terrible. This is an awful situation to be in. Okay, what's in this city? An anti-tank unit. Okay, right. More people. More bodies. Okay, fine. So, uh, right. You guys can just sort of stay there for a bit. The helicopter can be promoted... Um, when attacking machine guns, we'll have a bit of combat strength. Thank you very much. You guys can move in. Everybody try and get into the safe zone. Okay, the infantry corps can be promoted. That should give them a little bit of strength back. We're going to have to go into the sea. Let's use this AT crew to go into the sea and wander about and just see if we can find anywhere to go. Um, the helicopter can't... Can it go over the sea? Oh, it's going to take a turn to embark it there. I imagine the helicopters don't take damage. I think these do. 
I think the units do take damage in water, but I imagine a helicopter's not going to because, you know, it's flying and stuff. We've got three units back in the, <laughs> in the red depth. You just go into the sea. Go into the sea to enable you to survive because it's all going to go horribly wrong. Currently, we're in fourth. Well, there's, there's four people left. So, you know, the worst we're going to finish is fourth, which is fine. Uh, right. Where is land? Oh, no. There's no land around forever. <laughs> There's no land around at all. Oh dear. Ah, right. There's something over here. Right, we're just going to have to go into the sea, everybody. I apologise. But yeah, we're going to have to go into the sea. And just, and just hopefully... Why, why have the helicopters turned into boats? They can fly. I don't understand. Right. It, it, this is all we've got left. We have to, we have to embark. Oh dear. This could all go quite horribly wrong, couldn't it? Right, okay. Bring you guys in. You guys are already in the sea. So you can go around there. These guys are currently being <laughs> being unpleasantly radiated. Okay, just go into the sea when you can at some point. Um, okay, finish your turn. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, they're all taking damage. Yeah, this isn't this isn't going to be helpful. Right, let's use the helicopter to maybe come over here and see what there is. Okay, right. Bar bars. So just raiders, but that's fine. Is that going to be good enough? Yeah, look, the point of that is there. So it's only going to get smaller. So yeah, we'll come over this way. Everybody, come this way. Come to land over here. This has not been a pleasant experience thus far. Right, so come over here, grab you guys, come over this way. I mean, it's a good job everyone moves quite quickly in the sea because uh, it means, means we can get to where we're going quicker. We can actually get away from the Red Death, which we haven't been able to do for quite some time. Um, and it means that we're in the water less time, which means that we're not going to get radiated quite as badly. Supply drops. If only we could go and grab ourselves some supply drops. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, let's get the helicopter on land. Now, the only thing is, people, I assume, have been here because that is an explored city ruins. So there might well be other people around the place, which you know, is, is fine. I've, I would expect there to be other people around. We've got quite a lot of people. The only thing that worries me is that we still only have one civilian unit. I was kind of hoping that we might have had more than one. Ah, now there is a thing down there that we could go and take on. That might be quite nice. If we could go into here, into that raider outpost, and take that out, that might be quite nice. Lots of people are coming up to us. Hello. Right, okay, use that to take you out. Yeah, you're gone. Uh, right, okay, you guys need to get on the land. You guys get on the land but up here behind some defence because we need to keep you alive. Uh, you can come up to there. Oh, no, so much damage. Right, hang on. Can you move? You move to there. That means they can get on the land, which is marvellous. Can they get on the land? Yes, they can up there on the Statue of Liberty. Oh, there's another Statue of Liberty. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, there's many of them. That's okay. Right, and then you guys run or whatever it is. Swim really quickly this way. Okay, they can't do anything. It's fine. Let's see what we can do over here, then. We need to take you guys out. So you're some raiders. We can do taking them out. And then going down here, getting to this raider outpost, and picking up whatever is down there. Um, okay, move you guys in here. Can you come back this way? Uh, and then we want the helicopter. Oh, who's that? Oh, there's some other people. Oh, dear. Right, can they see me? I do not know. Um, okay, let's use the let's use the helicopter on them. A major victory. So we run in, we get them. Can they take them out? A major defeat. That is no good at all. Yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully. Oh, the helicopter might be dead. The helicopter might die possibly. Um, right, you guys come round here. Maybe you can. Oh, you can't quite get onto the land. You can't either. You're going to take some more damage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Those guys are just about alive. Um, however, they ran away, which is quite convenient. So, we will level up the helicopter. Uh, combat strength versus AT crews. Yes, that'll be useful. Everybody could just do with healing up for a bit. Just try and get... Oh no, that's a bad thing. I'm trying to heal up and then he's just sort of ran in and he'll see that we're weak. Oh, he's closing in. He's closing in. Um, right, okay. Get everybody out of the sea. Get everybody out the sea, because that's generally not going to help. Um, let's form a call with them. Let's just get a stronger unit in play. There we go. Right, okay, skip their turn. 
skip their turn because they'll, they'll heal up, I think, anyway. Um, you guys can, you guys can come. No, you stay there actually. Fortify until you're healed, and you fortify until you're healed as well. We just need to heal up. We're so badly damaged. Oh, look at the, all that health coming back in. That is a wonderful thing. Now, what's he going to do? Is he going to try and attack us? He wants to come down here, doesn't he? He wants a bit of that. Yeah, he's picking on us. You meanie pants. Um, okay, let's run around here. Maybe next time we can take him on. Bring a helicopter as well. So bring a helicopter. Bring some units. They've got a helicopter. <laughs> it's all getting a bit showy off isn't it? Yeah, well, I've got a helicopter. So have I. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Right, helicopter's in place. You guys come this way. That helicopter just ran away a bit. Um, you guys... Oh, actually, yeah, form a core. Form a core of, of AT crew. That might be quite useful. You guys just absolutely just stay just there. Um, yep, you stay there. And then the guys at the top... Can we bring them round? Can we bring them round the top? Oh, who are they? Oh, my goodness me. There's some other people. There's the mad scientists up there. Oh, no. Right, there's some other people around. Okay, right. This is all getting very, very close. Right, we want to attack them. Bang, 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 bang. Right, shot you. Right, now you go in and we shoot you a bit as well. So they've taken some damage. They've taken a bit of a heavy old hit there. We want to keep our people safe. Let's try and... Do you know what? You can heal up, actually. You can have a turn of healing. As can you. Uh, they can just sort of stay still. Oh, they've just healed up a little bit there. They've got a helicopter coming round. Don't like it. Um, okay, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. You heal up as well. Uh, you can't do anything. And these guys heal. Just a, just a nice sort of turn of, of just trying to get some health back. Because we took quite a lot of damage from being in the sea and in the Red Death. And of course, we can't stay here for too long because that's going to shrink. Oh, look at that. This is the area that we're all in now. There's four factions in this one relatively small area. This is, ah, this is all sorts of tense. Right, I'm trying to run away. We've lost one of our units. Okay, we lost, what did we lose? Um, the helicopter. So we've lost the helicopter. That's, that's not great. That's not overly helpful. Um, right, we can fire on them there. I wonder if we can go up there. You guys, head up that way. Try and take them out and see what that is. Um, in the meantime, you're going to have to... You guys attack them for a minor defeat, which is a little bit saddening. And then you... Oh, attack the helicopter. Attack the helicopter. Can you go in on the helicopter? A major defeat. Oh, no. he He's wiping us out. He is absolutely wiping us out. Um, okay, we, we've done all we can. We might need to pin our hopes on going up there. That might be what we need to do. Get something out of here and hope it's really good. These guys are now a bit vulnerable, though. I don't like the fact that those guys are quite so vulnerable. Oh, no, and an infantry unit has appeared. Okay, that's bad. Move away, shoot at the infantry. Bam, right, okay, weakened them a little bit. You guys come here. I don't like those guys. <laughs> they keep shooting at us. Stop it. It's it's just not on. It's just not cricket, sirs. Um. Okay. The only thing is, if we don't go and attack them, yeah, they're just going to shoot us next time. So we just need to sort of run away a bit and hopefully try and heal up. Ah, right. Ten combat strength versus melee units. Yes, we'll take that. Oh my goodness me, he's got a machine gun army. No wonder he's so strong. Okay, we've got some supply drops and things. Okay. He's launching a missile of some description. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. <laughs> Okay. Right. We've just been nuked. Um, okay. He's just launched a nuclear missile at us. And it's caused us... Oh, now that's become a little mini bit of red death. Oh, no. So we're going to have to drive out of there. <laughs> this is all sorts of terrible. Those guys have got no chance of survival. They're just going to die. So we're dead. <laughs> this has all gone horribly, horribly wrong. Um... Right, we've lost the machine gunner unit that was that was defending our civilians. Oh, he's closing in for the kill. He is absolutely closing in for the kill. We'll put them onto the civilians for now. I can't believe I just got nuked. Um, and we'll kill them. 
because at least that takes out one thing that is in our way. Um, right, you guys, just fortify until you are healed. Oh, I suspect you might be dead very, very soon indeed. <laughs> yep, that unit died up there because it got red death to death. Um, right, move out of here. Move over there. Move to just here. And everybody just sort of hide and hope for the best. Maybe if we just close our eyes and ignore them, they'll go away. That That's my plan. That's my bold, noble and very logical plan. Um, who is this? Kagi. Yeah, okay, so the person here, the Wanderers, played by uh, player Kagi, is, is who we're waiting for. I might be wondering what I'm up to. Do you know what? I have no idea what I'm up to, Kagi. But look, the whole map, the whole map is now here. This is where we're up to. And again, in three turns, this will shrink, although we might not actually see it. I don't suspect we'll be around for three more turns. <laughs> I think our poor, cult, uh, our poor uh, civilians, sorry, not cultists, are going to be in a spot of bother. Unless we put them in the sea and just make them run away dramatically over here somewhere. Could we put them in the sea and just make them flee the zone? That might be what we have to do. If he leaves them alive. Um... Right, he's taken out the AT crew. It's it's looking all sorts of bad. It, it's looking really bad. It, this is not good at all. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay. Right. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out bravely. Right. You go there. You go into the sea. <laughs> just and just try and sail away because we have no other options. We have nothing else to do. That that was our the the killer for us. This little spit of land. We didn't know if it would lead to anything. It didn't. And that was what did us in. Because we were funneled down here. We were being chased by the Red Death. We couldn't really do anything. We had to land over here. It was all completely unprepared over here. We had no idea what was over here at all. And, um, and yes, we've come across these people here. We are losing a little bit. Because we're in the sea. Um, we do need to get back on the land quite soon. Um, do you reckon if we can come down here? So we come down here. Um, next turn. Let's see where they can get to. Can we land? And oh no, that's a cliff. So we can't land there. Could we land just here, away from those raiders, and then just try and hide as best we can? We've got we've got nothing else. <laughs> we've got entirely no hope. And that's going to take some damage. I don't know how much damage it's going to take. 34 out of 100. I think they took 8 last time. So let's see what happens. We're still waiting for Kagi. Okay, right. Well, let's see if we can survive. Okay, the safe zone has shrunk once again. Right, we can move around here, perhaps. Um, oh, no. There's there's somebody else. Okay. Um, and uh, let's... Oh, no. We, we're doomed. We've got no chance because we can't take anybody out. So it's just a case of trying to last longer than everybody else. However, there is a tank just there. <laughs> that that has not gone well, has it, there? That, that is a terrible place to find ourselves because he's got a tank. He's got a tank right there. Okay, move away, move away from the tank. Um, we can't move away from the tank. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, can we can we do that? Can we bring that? Yeah, go there, look. And and now end our turn. And we're just going to die, aren't we? We're just going to die out to sea. We can't even go to a little island or anything. We've, we've got no chance. Because down here is somebody else as well. So it's all going to go horribly wrong. Ooh. Oh, he's timing out. He's timed out. Okay, so he's not reached the end of his turn. So he's not either done all the things he wanted to do, or he just did press the button at the end. Um... We're just going to have to land just here and then just <laughs> just hope that this person is nice to us. But I don't think they're going to be. But he might not put us at risk. Oh, there's a giant tank there. Hello. <laughs> what a lovely tank you have. Anna, he's unlikely to want to come down here and kill me because that tank will kill him. So we might be okay. We, we might possibly be able to survive and then just run away for another turn. Oh, can somebody else not just go? Can somebody else just go? Although, though those guys are AI controlled. Ah, they're AI. They're computer controlled. So really, really, I'm in the top three. I'm in the top three of the human players. And given that I've never played this before, that's all right. I'll take that. Um, right, let's see what happens. Right, we need we need to run away, <laughs> and he's going to come at us with his tank. And presumably wipe us off the map, I guess. Oh, will he take them out? Because we're no threat. Oh, no, there you go. He's fighting them instead. 
<laughs> we might be able to get over here to a supply drop. That would be brilliant if we could do that. If we could get to the supply drop. He's, yeah, he's, he's closing in. He's closing in. Wanderers have gone. So that was the last Wanderers unit. Um, yeah, okay. There's some, there's some things. Very good. <laughs> We've got no chance of getting them. Where's he then? Where's this person? Where is Owen with the mad scientists? Have we even seen them? He must be up here somewhere. Go after Owen and the mad scientists. I'm not the person you're looking for. Okay, this is the end. We're just going to go to here. But no, he has indeed... Well, I don't know what happened there exactly. But he didn't come and kill us, I don't think. We've just sort of... We've just lost. I think he came in with helicopters and killed us. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> so we came third. I don't think we had the best starting position, to be fair. But do you know what? We came third. That's okay. So let's just look at the little graphs there. So where are we? We're the white plotted one. So we are the third most combat amounts. That's okay. Um, units killed, third most. And units lost the most. <laughs> We lost the most units, and that probably didn't help because we had to sail across the sea for quite some time. So, um, yeah, number of combats was sort of steady. Yeah, Kargi and Owen are uh, tussling, aren't they? So, uh, well, there we go. Look. So we came third. We came a relatively respectable third. Do you know what? I am quite happy with that. So that was Civilization VI Red Death. That was Civ VI's Battle Royale mode. And yeah, that was interesting. I enjoyed that. It was an interesting sort of take on Civilization VI. Not at all. Not even any way remotely like a regular game of Civ VI. No cities, no science, no trading, no diplomacy. It's just out and out sort of running away from the uh, running away from the Red Death and killing everything else in sight. And you know what? I like that. I like the fact that it's so radically different that yeah, it's not just like a little twist on Civ where it's a bit, ah, well, you know, everything's the same but this. It's completely different. Completely different map, completely different character portraits for all the different sort of uh, leaders you can pick and stuff. So yeah, that was very, very interesting. I think the one thing that sets this aside from other, uh, other Battle Royale modes is that most of the Battle Royale modes are on a fixed map. So you know where you are. So let's say you're playing Fortnite or Fallout 76's Nuclear Winter. You know the map. So if you play it a few times, you know that if you start in this one building, you can pick up some loot and then go somewhere else and grab some more loot. Whereas this, I believe the map, like most Civ games, is going to be randomly generated each time. So when you start, you have no idea. So, I mean, you could be down to the mercy of the map. I feel like we were a little bit victimized by the, by the map there, by having to go out into that spit of land and then go out into the sea. But as, you know, as far as all the other Battle Royale mechanics go, they're all in there. The sort of the encroaching whatever it is wall storm red death whatever it is that's coming in that was there and you can stay in it for a bit you do take some damage but you know you can survive in it for a little while and the rushing for resources and all that kind of stuff is all there so um so yeah i like the fact they've given it a go and i enjoyed it very much i might well have another little go at some other point in the future and just see if i can do better than third but we'll finish up for now hopefully you did enjoy this if you did then please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense and gubbins and shenanigans that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. The City of Cupboard. It can be full of geeks. Very loyal geeks to me. It's this sort of stripy hill. That's interesting. Oh, stripy mountain. Sorry, I, I downgraded you to a hill. Just really irritate the Norwegians. Everyone had gold. People were lying on beds of gold. They were eating gold. They were trying to wash their hair with gold. There was gold literally everywhere in our empire. <laughs>